Hello and hello. I'm very excited for today. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about starting as a cam girl, where to start, how to start, what you need, kind of like an all-in-one video on just like the beginning stages of like your long, long-term camming career. You know, whatever it may be, even if it's like a side hustle, a main hustle, whatever the fuck it may be. Today we're going to speak about how to get started and where to go from there. So, first things fucking first, you need to understand what it includes, what you're going to be doing. So, again, so with camming, there is, I don't want to say hundreds of websites, but, but maybe there is. You know, there's top websites like Chatterbait, there's My Free Cams, there's Streamate, there's... Uh, strip chat live jasmine like do your research visit the sites see what you know what they're doing on those websites see you know what kind of girls are on there if it's your kind of style you know and then once you research and go to the, like, go to the websites watch these girls see what they're doing or boys whatever whoever you may be see what they're doing see what they're about see kind of like what's the aesthetic of the of the website and if it matches yours if you want to bring something to the table kind of just feel it out and like you know if you feel like that's where you want to go then definitely sign up you know you can always go to like the sign up um go to the website you can always do like sign up as a model you can either do like sign up for a model you can go like the google engine search engine like sign up for a model on chatterbait or sign up for a model for a strip chat like you know then it'll like bring you directly there or you can just go to the website and then do sign up and then do sign up as a model and typically you know it asks you for your first name last name um what your username's gonna be uh, number one rule: don't for username. Don't ever use your government name ever. Don't ever put. I recommend making a, like a business email with your username that you're gonna use um, for camming. So before you sign up, create an email that's only gonna be used for work. So it's not connected to you in any sort of way. Like the government, like nobody could track who the fuck you really were. Um, so create an email. Yeah, so find the website that you want to sign up on, then create an email, um, you know, let's say that you want to do softkitten at gmail.com. Cool, so you made that Gmail account, now use that Gmail account to sign up as a model on the website that you want to go for, and then for your username, do softkitten2, and that's your username, but everything is connected with one another and it's not associated with your government or you know personal email that you use for like insurance or whatever the fuck it may be so after you signed up after you made the email no, excuse me after you found the website made your email and signed up typically there is a verification process where the, you know they have you submit documents rather than an ID um, you know like a face uh, recognition you know that obviously they need to verify that you're over 18 and that you are who you really are and you're not just catfishing everybody um anyways so if you're wanting to do solo camming where solo camming just means just you um who's signing up they'll just ask for you know your verification but if you're wanting to do couples camming where it's you and another person um they'll ask for their ver verification as well so you guys were technically sign up together so still do the same process you know find a website current email current username and if you're doing uh, solo they should verify yourself if you're doing couples they'll have you verify both of each other so pretty simple um, it's pretty parallel to solo for, you know from couples to solo it's pretty parallel there's just one extra person essentially so after that happened obviously they have to verify your information verify your account and once that is done you will have access you know once they approved it or whatever now you have access to your profile um <clears throat> so now you have your profile right everything was approved now you're ready if you wanted to start right now you're able to start streaming and do what you need to do but before we move on to that um i recommend honestly everybody starts from somewhere so if you don't have the money okay let's talk about if you don't ha you know 
you don't have the money to invest into equipment. You don't have money to invest into outfits. You don't have money to invest into toys. You don't have money to invest into a new computer or a camera. Totally fucking get it. I was fucking there. Honestly, just use, utilize what you do have. So then, so the don't have extra money option is just use what you do have. As long as you have a webcam and a computer, that's all you need. Even if the photo quality is grainy as fuck, at least that you're on there and you're trying and you're trying to make more money to get to where you want to go. You know, use what you do have. But if you don't have, if you do have money, I suggest a computer that has a lot of storage just because you will be, you know, essentially will you'll start using OPS. I'll make another video into that. We'll be using a lot of apps and softwares. So you're gonna need a lot of storage. You're also gonna probably have a lot of recordings and content on there. So you, you know you want storage on your computer that you decide to use. Um, so definitely invest into a computer with good storage, a lot of storage just for the future. If this is something long term and something that you are ready to put both feet into and jump off. So as well besides a can besides a computer a camera. Good quality is very important. You know, if you want to attract high quality tippers, high quality payers, a lot of money, you gotta look like a lot of money. If you want good quality men, women, you wanna look like a good quality man or woman. So you attract what you are. You know what I mean? So invest into a good camera. You can't stream over 20, um, 2080p or is it 10, 1080p? You can't stream over 1080p, but I recommend, you know, investing into, you can also use your phone. You can use your phone. Don't forget about that. If your phone has a camera, you can also use your phone. Um, I personally have an iPhone 14 plus and it works like magic. Um, otherwise, you can invest into a webcam. You go to Best Buy, you can go to Walmart, you can Target, wherever the fuck you can go down the street that sells webcams, you can do that too. Um, as long as it's 1080p, you're fine. Even if it's lower than that, you don't have enough money for 1080p, I totally get it. Just a webcam. Something to, you need one, obviously. So, we went over the computer storage in a nice computer, and then we also went over a webcam, which can either be a webcam or a phone. Um, and again, you can, the max, the max stream quality that you can stream on is 1080p. So even if you get a 4K or whatever, you can only do it at 1080p anyways. Um, so after that, um, lighting. Lighting, lighting, lighting is so important because obviously people want to see what they're what they're paying for. They want to see what, what's going on. They want to see what the fuck's happening. You know, they want to see all of you. That's why they're that's why they're here, you know. They're here for you, they're staying for you because you piqued the interest in them and they want to see what they're paying for. And granted again, like you have to remember that you're also being seen through other people's electronic devices. Like rather it's through their phone, rather it's through their computer. Um, so you want to make sure that like, your side's really good so when it translates to the other side, it's still as good. So that's why it's really important to invest into a good quality camera as well as good lighting. Um, that will get you very far. Just even, just even if you don't have outfits, even if you don't have toys, like those things are, they'll get you very far. And I hope you can hear me. I'm outside, obviously. My AC just went on. Um, anyways, besides that, those, that's the equipment. So now, now that you got the equipment, um, now you're ready to broadcast yourself as what we call it here in the King world. Um, broadcasting yourself is when you go live. That's when you are on the website and people can click on you and that's when you can start doing things on cam and you get paid for it. It's a beautiful world. <laughs> it's a beautiful world. Um, yeah. So I kind of just want to leave that in today's video. I don't want to put too much into one video. I want to keep it very short and simple. Um, yeah. So I kind of want to. I just want to summarize what we spoke about today. Number one is creating a uh, work email with your username in it. Uh, create a work email. Two, create a username. 
three of verifying on the website for equipment. Uh, the no money option was just use what you have as long as you have a computer and a camera. Uh, if you do have money, definitely invest into a good computer or laptop and then invest into a good webcam as well as lighting. So, yeah, that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy camming. Um, again, if you have any more questions, feel free to go to leave it below. Or if you're a veteran cam girl you have more, and you have advice for us girlies, you know, leave that down below as well. Um, yeah, I look forward to making the next one. I promised myself that I was going to be making a video every single day. Well, I mean, there is so much to talk about. So, literally every day there's something to talk about. There's thousands of things to talk about. Uh, so, yeah, happy camming. Bye, girlies. Or bye, boys.